we cannot forget the tears, the gloom, the heartache. Personally, I can never forget that afternoon at 37 Military Hospital, seeing the lifeless body of the president at the intensive care unit. And just for the records, he was sent to the intensive care unit. He wasn't sent to any children's ward or female ward. Heaven showed us the great loss when for days we didn't see the sun come up. Heaven was also mourning. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, without a template, we had precisely 17 days to lay the mortal remains of the president to rest here at Sasunjay Park. He passed on 24th July, and on the 10th of August, we had to lay him to rest so that the nation could move on. I realized very early that I had no option but to remain extremely loyal to the late president. When sometime in 2005, I was then working at the Metropolitan and Allied Bank as head of Treasury and Finance, when he personally called me, personally, in humility, Koku, please, I think you have something to offer. Can you work for me? I know you can help me join the team. Today, Rojo is here. Mr. Nchubeshaku is here. H.E. Baba Kamara, they are all here and they know the story. So if anybody is running around saying that he held my hands and took me to President Mills, it's a figment of the person's imagination. President Mills called me himself. Hence, the loyalty and the covenant working relationship between the two of us. If out of millions of Ghanaians, a former president who had attempted to become president calls you in humility and asks you to work for him, God forbid that I be disloyal to him. God forbid that I be disloyal to him. God has never needed a multitude to bring forth his divine glory. He has never needed a multitude. It takes individuals who allow themselves to be vessels for God to use to achieve results. <laughs>